Look at Shilpa. She is wearing a nice bindi. He is Balvinder. He is wearing a kada. Which shapes are these? These are round shapes. In geometry, the round shape is called as a circular shape too. This is called a circle. Where have you seen circle like shapes? A dial of a wall clock. A bangle lid of tiffin box. First, let us learn to draw a circle using a compass. Take the paper. Use a sharpened pencil. Hold a compass and fit the pencil in the hole of the compass. See that the metal tip of the compass and the point of the pencil are at the same level. You can do this by resting both the points on paper to check the level. Tighten the screw of the compass which is holding the pencil. Take a distance between these two tips. Take any point on the paper. Hold the metal tip firmly on that point. Hold the back end screw of the compass. Now turn the pencil around the metal tip on the paper. This shape is a circle. Name the center point as D. Remember, the point at which the metal tip is held is the center of the circle. Here it is D. You can choose the distance between two tips and keep it fixed while drawing the circle. If you want a radius to be 5 cm, then keep the distance of 5 cm using a scale like this. Now draw a circle of 3 cm. Excellent! Now let us learn more about a circle. See, this is a circle. Let us know about a radius. Which is the center of this circle? This one where metal tip was fixed. Let's mark a point in the center with a pencil and name it with letter P. Now mark a point anywhere on the outer edge of this circle and name it with letter R. Mark one more point on some other place and name it with letter K. Now join the center point P and point R, then join point P and point K. Our metal tip remains at the point P and pencil tip moves. Pencil tip goes through R as well as K. So, PR is equal to PK. The lines PR and PK joining the center of the circle and the outer point is called a radius. A circle can have many radius as PK and PR. However, all the radii are of the same length. It is the length between the two tips, metal tip and pencil tip. The circle consists of all the points equidistant from the center. Radius is the distance between the tips. Hence, we take the distance between the metal tip and the pencil tip to be 4 cm. So keep metal tip on zero of a ruler, move pencil tip slowly and take it to the 4 cm mark. Now the distance between the metal tip and the pencil tip is 4 cm. Thus if we draw circle in the above manner by fixing metal tip and moving the pencil tip, we will get a circle with radius 4 cm. Chord. Now draw any two points on the circle. Also join these two points with a straight line with a ruler. Name them M and N. A line joining any two points on a circle is called a chord. Which is a chord in this figure? The chord is line MN. Draw two more chords of the circle. A circle can have many chords such as MN, LK and PQ. Diameter A chord passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter. Draw a line through the center of the circle. Name it as AB. Name the center as P. Remember, 
that chord AB should pass through the center P. So, chord AB is a diameter of the circle. Now, draw one more chord passing through the center of the circle. Name it as KL. A circle can have many diameters as AB and KL. Diameter is a chord of maximum length. KP plus PL is equal to KL. AP plus PB is equal to AB. What did we learn? To draw a circle using a compass. A line joining the center of the circle and any point on the edge of a circle is called a radius. A circle can have many radii. A line joining any two points on a circle is called a chord. A circle can have many chords. A chord passing through the center of the circle is called a diameter. Length of diameter is two times radius. A circle can have many diameters. Exercise. State whether true or false. Correct the false sentences. 1. A circle can have only one chord. 2. There could be many diameters of circle. 3. A line joining any two points on a circle is called a radius. Draw a neat circle having a radius of 4 cm. Draw and label the following. A diameter in red, a chord in green, a radius black.